Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So today I'm showing you Instagram worthy outfit ideas. I feel like recently, like on my Instagram, my style has really changed. Before I used to do a lot more like business casual, sophisticated looks, but recently I've really tried to change it up and just be a little bit more trendy. If you look at my older posts on Instagram, I used to do a lot of like dress pants and blazers and um, pointed toe high heels, but now I'm doing a lot more like fun kind of like uh, puffy sleeves and like tie up stuff and lace details and different things like that and I'm really here for it I really love it so much so if you guys have not yet followed me on my Instagram go ahead and do that now today I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite outfits from this like Instagram worthy haul of outfits so um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel subscribe down below but without further ado let's just get started Alrighty, so um, so Miss Lola, I've actually shopped at Lola Chutique like when it was Lola Chutique. I actually shopped there when they were in Santee Alley. Now they're a much bigger company. They changed their name to Miss Lola. Personally, I've always been a really big fan of their shoes, and I know that that's what they're really famous for, but I saw Desi and Katie, like Desi Perkins and Katie here on YouTube. I've seen them wearing Miss Lola, and their outfits were always so on point, and it just like was the perfect Instagram outfit so when you guys like envision Instagram outfits I think we all have the very like a very similar uh, image in our head and personally I have recently loved all of like the Instagram outfits that I've been seeing so let's just start with the first piece here um, this one is like a bardo is bardo the right word like off the shoulder with like these puffy sleeves like when I wore this I told Pia which is like the friend that I was shooting with I had told her like I feel like um, Anne Hathaway, or was it Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock in um, Miss Congeniality, like that one scene where she's like doing the wine. That gives me this vibes for, for sure. And I'm actually really here for it. I love this outfit so much and I just felt really like girly and so angelic in this. Um, I definitely recommend wearing a pair of like shorts underneath, um, just like beige shorts because it can be a little bit see-through, but the back is stretchy so it's nice if you have like a larger chest. It'll give you that extra give that you need for your chest. Okay, so we just took a photo here and for this outfit, it's like this really cute like dress situation. And um, there's like a little like little cart here with some props. There's like some little props here, so I just used a couple of these and um, we just took some photos here. Um, as you guys can see, um, Pia's shooting me in my outfit. Normally when I take outfit pictures, I always try to um, let the background really kind of be a part of my outfit. So um, I felt like for this piece, it really reminded me of something really girly and I wanted girly colors in my background. So um, I immediately gravitated towards Lottere and just like that Parisian look, even though this isn't necessarily a Parisian style dress, I still feel like um, it really paired well. Oh, by the way, I will be linking all of the um, product details and everything I'm mentioning down below as well as the size because a lot of you guys are the same size as I am. So I wanted to make sure I tried these on for you guys so that you guys know which what pieces I really loved. Um, this next cord set is this denim jacket with the skirt. So let me just get, grab the skirt. So this is the skirt and dress, um, the skirt and dress, the skirt and top um, set. I really like sets like these because with sets you can always like change the bottoms or the tops and get completely different outfits. It's way more worth your money in my opinion. The denim on this is super duper cute. I love how slouchy the denim jacket is and the double breasted like buttons is just like the cutest little detail. I saw it on the website and I was like oh I need this. Especially because it's in white denim and you guys know me and my white outfits like it goes hand in hand. As you guys can see, I'm wearing it with just like a black strappy cami underneath. Um, I feel like you could honestly get away with like wearing nothing underneath and just um, closing this up and wearing it as a set, which I think is really cute. But you can also wear it like together with something underneath. I don't really know where I was going with that sentence for a second. <laughs> um, but you can do it together. Super cute. Again, white denim is a must, must, must have for spring and summer just because like this I can throw over any of my dresses. This I can throw over any of my like beachy um, swimsuits, bodysuits, different things like that. So really happy with this piece, highly recommend and 
just very excited. Let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about shoes for a second because the thing is with Miss Lola, like I like I told you guys in the beginning, I actually shopped Lola Chutique when it was in Santee Alley. Like I went to their store all the freaking time. Like I was always on the hunt for really, really cute, um, kind of trendy shoes, but like not super expensive. And I found that Miss Lola had the best heels. I wore um, one of their heels for my 21st birthday when I went to Vegas. So um, I've always been a huge fan of the brand and they make really incredible, um, just like basic heels. Um, I was actually just gifted these along with the rest of my clothes and um, I was really happy with it. They are a little bit big for me and the heel is quite high. Um, I will say I only wear like four inches as my max. After that, my feet are literally gone. Like I can't feel them anymore. So this is a little bit higher for me, but if you're an expert in walking in heels, highly recommend these because it's got that square front and I feel like the square front recently has just looked really, really good um, and everyone needs a nude strappy sample. So uh, I feel like Lola Shootique has really good basics. So these are just like right under the knee, knee, almost like calf, calf length boots. And they're super slouchy and ruched. And they're just, just so like perfect when you want to wear an oversized t-shirt and biker shorts look, which is what I'm doing here. Um, you can obviously wear these just with like a dress. You can wear these with a skirt. You could literally wear these with anything if you wanted to. You can obviously wear them over like your leggings or your tights in the winter time in the fall and wear them as like a traditional boot style. But in the spring, you can easily just dress this up to be super duper casual. So I am really, really happy with this. I love the colorway, the beige, like Miss Lola literally is so on point when it comes to nude shoes. It's not too pink of a beige. It's actually like, it literally looks like my nude combo lipsticks. And I love that. It's like an ice latte, perfect color. Um, and I'm super duper happy with these. Um, it's got a really cute pointed toe, not too, too high of a heel. I mean, I feel like with boots because the heel is so chunky and because I also wear socks, it's much more comfortable for me. And a little trick, I always, always, always insert um, like insoles into my boots and stuff because no one's ever going to look that deep into your shoe. And I would rather wear these for like, hours and hours at on end versus like not wearing insoles and having it completely flat and having my foot slip and slide inside. So I'm um, really happy with these. Again, I got them in a six and a half and um, they're just like the perfect length on me and they fit really, really well. I think out of this entire haul, this is this is probably one of the two of my favorite pieces. Um, this is a blazer style dress and um, it's an all white and this is actually the only blazer dress I own. Um, I was looking for one that like I really wanted to wear casually and dressed up because I find that with blazer dresses, they can typically all the ones at least that I've seen, they look really, really dressed up with like gold buttons and like just double breasted power shoulders and it's crazy but with this it's like casual enough to just wear as like an overcoat which is what I'm doing here um, with a pair of jeans and just like a tank underneath I feel like you could wear this over a dress you could literally wear this just like as a blazer overcoat dress is that even a word um okay rewind let's go back a little I meant you could wear it as like a jacket. <laughs> I don't really know. I love, I love the side buckle detail. It just like secures really, really well, especially if you have like a larger chest like I do. Um, typically like the, the blazer dresses I've worn or tried on, they don't support the girls. They kind of fling them out to the wind and it's just a flappy mess that no one needs to see. So this little piece here that goes over the front is a dream and it's perfect for me. It also has like a little um, inside button detail that you can kind of like button it in, belt it in, you're strapped, you're ready to go, you're ready to rock this outfit. Perfect with over the knee boots, perfect with um, just strappy high heels, perfect with sneakers, which is what I'm showing you here. Like I literally think this is one of the most versatile pieces ever and if you don't already have a blazer dress you need one again they've got ruching on the back so it gives you just a little bit more give and shape um, than just having that kind of like straight line look let's move on to one of the last two items of this haul so these jeans we need to talk about these jeans you guys so you guys know that i am a jean fanatic i feel like at this point i have a good like 25 pairs of jeans, including shorts. 
I'm always on the hunt for a good small waist, a fitting waist, but like loose enough and has enough give for my legs and my thighs. Um, I've shared my size with you guys before. I'm 5'3", I weigh like 140 pounds. I'm a size six to eight. I'm, I'm roughly like a size 27 to 29, depending on the brand, depending on the style, depending on the stretch and all that kind of stuff. So um, I know a lot of you guys have the similar specs as I do and I find that these just really hug my waist in really, really well. Um, I worn them nonstop and that's why like you can just tell that they're a little bit crinkled and all that stuff because I've been wearing all this stuff nonstop since I've gotten it. I really wanted time to test it out and see if like I actually wear this in my regular like non YouTube days and non Instagram days like do I wear this stuff normally and I do I gravitate to these jeans a lot I love that they're casual enough to have like rips in the knees they've got a raw hem at the bottom rips in the butt um not like rips in the butt butt but like rips in the butt back pocket butt um and then um yeah it's just super casual I love the color of these jeans and again like I think the fit of these are actually really, really good. They cinch in at my waist, but they almost have that loose like mom fit around my thighs and my legs. Yeah, really, really happy with these. Can't wait for you guys to try them as well. If you do order them, let me know. Tag me in an Instagram photo or something. Um, but yeah, perfect length for me and I love these ones. Okay, now let's talk about the top that I'm wearing. Um, this top here is, is like, an essential it's just giving me like Cabo vibes like Los Cabos San Tropez like it's just like the most beautiful bat winged sheer like gorgeous piece that I would wear over a bikini over a bathing suit over um, a bodysuit just over a dress or even on its own I think it's just an essential piece for spring I love that the lining in the inside neckline just goes and covers right over my um, bra so that I don't have to worry about like things flying out which is really really nice it's super simple in at my waist um, but enough where I can probably eat like tacos and be fine it desperately needs a steam in this video I know that you guys like I was just so excited to film this and it was like sitting with all the stuff and I just wanted to throw it on and include it in here I had no time to steam but as you guys know I highly recommend steaming it um, I recommend just grabbing a couple of accessories like Missola has really really cute hairpins and they also just uh, added these to my order and I love these so much. Like I've been really into a clip moment recently on my Instagram and I really do like the way that these look. And I feel like whether you have short hair or long hair, it's really a cute like moment. It's sliding down my hair right now um, because I just blow dried it. So, well, you guys get the point. You guys get the idea. It's like a really cute clip moment and I love it so much. Those are all the items that I have to share with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you did with a big thumbs up. If you guys want more like fashion try on hauls and stuff, I'd be happy to do them. Um, I know that you guys love my nail vlogs and everything, but personally, I love making fashion and makeup videos too. So make sure you guys let me know with a comment or a thumbs up that you liked it as well. Follow me on Instagram to see all of these outfits styled um, so that you guys can just get more inspo for your outfits and different things if you guys end up purchasing any of these items. Again, all of the items will be listed in the description box with all the sizes as well. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.